almost from the very beginning, uh, William Cody was thinking of this as an export, that um, the very concept of the of Buffalo Bill's Wild West was developed for European consumption. So there's a kind of paradox at the heart of that, that so-called America's national entertainment was in fact um, meant for Europeans. After their first European tour, um, took on a very cosmopolitan cast. Uh, they developed this concept of the Rough Riders of the World, uh, which included um, uh, representatives of various uh, military or cavalry or horseman cultures from um, Europe and the Middle East and South America. So the tours uh, began in 1887. Um, they spent about a year in Britain that first time, and that really opened their eyes, opened their minds to the possibilities of, of international touring. So they uh, returned in 88 and immediately regrouped for a more extended launch that began with the Paris, uh, Paris Exhibition Universelle, the World's Fair in 1889. And, um, that ended up being a three-year long tour um, that they replicated again in um, 1903. And so again, we're looking at about six and a half years of extended touring in Europe over the course of those three extended tours. They took different approaches depending on the circumstances. Um, broadly, uh, they would, uh, if the opportunity afforded itself, they would um, try to stay in one place for an extended period. So most notably during the American Exhibition in 87 and the uh, Paris World's Fair in um, 89. Uh, on other tours, they would take a more uh, mobile approach and just spend one or two nights in each city and kind of bar barnstorm their way across different countries. At the same time as um, we have this kind of rise of, of nationalist feeling, of nationalist fervor, um, we also have an increasingly international society. And so it's no accident, I think, that um, even as Buffalo Bill's Wild West is seeking to embody um, a uniquely American experience, they would think to take that experience abroad. And uh, as they do, that gets folded into their marketing back home. So when they return from their first tour, um, they uh, herald themselves as a European triumph. And that, um, becomes part of their appeal to Americans. America, American culture over the course of the 19th century was uh, marked by a certain unease, um, a, a sense of a cultural deficit relative to Europe, um, that uh, we were too young, um, that our culture was too thin and uh, in comparison to Europe. And so um, that image of approval, whether it was from Victoria or um, just the sheer numbers of Europeans attending the show um, was highly validating. At the same time, um, as the show incorporated these different elements like the Rough Riders of the World, uh, it took on this incredibly international uh, flavor. And so even, if it, even as it was still uh, um, highlighting or foregrounding the frontier experience, it was much more than that by the time um, it reached its, its height in the 1890s.